Okay, guys, we got a 17 Dodge Grand Caravan here. I'm gonna show you our plug and play remote start. Um, it's got a tip start, obviously. Super easy. Um, our kit consists of an ignition harness and then a parking light output uh, in the module. So first, what we're gonna do is pop this panel off right here and just put a screwdriver in and you can release it. I've already pulling it off, so. Um, next, this bottom piece comes off, super easy. There's a tab here, which I already removed. Uh, there's one right here that I have to pull out and another one uh, right up over here. And then this part, um, I usually just put a screwdriver or a plastic pry tool and you can pull this down. Uh, but we need to pull these two clips out. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so I got the clips out, I popped this down. Next, you're gonna wanna push this uh, this is actually clipped onto the back of here, so if you push it straight back, like this one's not popped off, if you just push it straight back, it'll pop right off. That's going to give us access to our headlight switch right here. Um, the harness, you can unplug it, but the wire that you want is either going to be white brown or white light green. And this one, you can see it clearly right there, it's white light green. You're going to only have one or the other, you're not going to have both. Um, let me unclip that for you so you can kind of see uh, what we're working with here. So here it is. And if you look at the um, diagram that's on the install guide, it'll show you the pin location and the white green is right there. And there's a the tab. So uh, just tap that with our little tap and I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, the ignition or the deal right here, you can reach it right here. And uh, what you're going to want to do, oops, hold on a minute here. Okay, so you might have to pull this loose. It's got seven millimeter bolts in it, one, two, three, four. Uh, drop it down. But basically what we're looking for is the ignition harness or push button harness, which is right there with that white brown wire. And I'm going to unplug it right here but I wanted you guys to see that. The tab that you need to push down on is on the top, so it's right here. And the tab, as you can see, is that right there? And it inserts into the barrel like that. So now what we're gonna do is install our T-harness onto that. Okay, so let me get that light out of the way. Got the T-harness installed, so the factory connector which just has tape on it, plugs into our female right here. And then the male of my harness goes back up into the ignition switch up there. And then what's left is this little harness uh, for the parking light activation. And it comes right over here to the green white. So I'm gonna route it back, get it around. Uh, I'm gonna bring the module around over here too, uh, behind all that stuff. And then I'll tap that and show you guys all right, so I got the white green wire tapped with this little guy. Uh, you basically just crimp it over and then I'm gonna plug this back in. When you insert it back into the headlight switch, it, it goes like this with the tab facing down and then it plugs right in. So let me do that real quick. All right, so we got it in. Um, and then I actually tapped that down farther on the harness so I can plug that in and then plug this uh, into that. Okay, so we're gonna take the key. You don't need it yet, but you take the module. Don't worry about that little hole. That little guy, I wouldn't worry about that little guy. So your module's probably gonna look a little different. Um, this is the one that we use this for testing at the shop and videos, but you're gonna have the new DB3 module. This is an older one, same, same plugs, same programming, same everything. So you push the button that's on the side of the module. This one's on the front. Yours is probably gonna be like right here. So you push it, insert the blue connector, and this light's gonna turn orange. And then you let go of it and it's gonna turn red. Well, if it's already ready for programming, then it's gonna turn orange. So we're gonna take the key, we're gonna insert it into the ignition and we're gonna turn it on. And you're gonna see it start blinking green. And then you turn the ignition off and you hit the uh, hit the unlock button 
and it will turn solid green and turn off and that's it so now you can hit lock three times and it'll start and we're running tax on parking lights are on and we're good to go so now you just hit unlock walk out here get in put the key in turn it forward and you can drive away